एंड अटेंडेंस शीट इज अ ट्रैकर इन विच वी ट्रैक एम्प्लॉयज अटेंडेंस और से वी ट्रैक प्रेजेंट एबसेंट वीक ऑफ हॉलीडेज लीव हाफ डेज एंड सो ऑन इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एन ऑटोमेटेड अटेंडेंस शीट इन एक्सेल हाई माई नेम इज विजय एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ऑफिस मॉम लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो विदाउट एनी डिटेज दिस इज एन अटेंडेंस शीट विच आई हैव क्रिएटेड इन एडवांस Over here, the week offs will not be fixed. You can select as per your choice. I have kept an option for two week offs. In case you have just one week off, you can select one. I'll click over here on the drop down and will select Saturday. And you'll notice over here, week off of one employee got highlighted. If I'll select Sunday, two week offs of a particular guy got highlighted. If I'll select Saturday for all the employees, Saturday got highlighted. and if i select sunday means saturday and sunday for all the employees saturdays and sundays got highlighted in case week offs are not fixed you can select particular days also like monday tuesday and so on in case there is just one week off you can select none from here and just a single day will be highlighted these week offs will be highlighted as well as restricted on the top we can see name of the holidays and highlights over here these holidays and week offs will be highlighted as well as restricted when the month will be changed highlight of leaves will be changed as well as name of the leaves will be changed in the end you will notice after 28th it got highlighted i'll try to insert something enter and it's restricted from top we can select our months as well as we can select the years when i selected 2024 the name of holidays got vanished because my holiday list is updated just for one year 2023 on the extreme left hand side we can see the summary of present absent week off holidays pl sl and half days I have updated one sheet for you. This is the attendance sheet of May, which I have already updated. Here we can see count of present, absent, week offs, and so on. Here week offs are rotational, so you can see highlight of week offs on various days. I have highlighted present, absent, and leaves. I have created twelve sheet for twelve months, and in the end we have got consolidated sheet. In case the employee count will be more, you can check employee data from here. Let's start creating a new sheet now. In the very beginning we will create sheet for setting. For setting sheet we will take data from our example file. In setting sheet we need data like days, months, year, holiday list along with dates, employee ID along with their names. So we will click on the top. We'll go in formulas, define name and over here we will give it a name as holidays and we'll do okay now we will open a new worksheet or a new tab and we'll start creating our new attendance sheet we will start from b2 we'll click on b2 and we'll select till h we'll go to home and we'll give it a color we'll make this bigger we'll take this in left side now we will click on j2 and we'll select j and k we'll highlight it we'll select lm and we'll highlight it we'll leave the third one blank we'll come to b4 total present we'll make this bigger we'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid now we will select this we'll go in home and we'll wrap the text we'll take this in center we'll select this and we'll give it a color we'll put borders we'll drag this till end this will be total absent total week offs total holidays total paid leaves total sick leaves total half days we'll select this and we'll make it bold for present we are going to use p absent a week offs 
डब्ल्यू ओ हॉलीडेज एच पेड लिव्स पी एल सिक लिव्स एस एल हाफ डेज एच टी वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस एंड विल टेक दिस इन सेंटर नाउ वी विल क्लिक ओवर हियर दिस विल बी आवर सीरियल नंबर इम्प्लॉय आई डी नेम वीक ऑफ वन आफ्टर टाइपिंग वीक ऑफ वी विल प्रेस ऑल्ट एंड विल हिट एंटर वन विल सेलेक्ट वन एंड विल मेक इट बोल्ड विल इंक्रीज द फॉन्ट साइज विल हिट एंटर विल टेक दिस इन सेंटर नाउ वी विल ड्रैक दिस एंड दिस विल बी वीक ऑफ टू विल हाईलाइट एन ऑल्सो वी विल हाईलाइट दिस इन ब्लू विल मेक द फॉन्ट कलर एज वाइट will give it borders we'll take this in center we will take this closer over here we will type month we will merge both we'll give it a border we will merge all three we'll give it a border this will be for year so here we will create drop down for month i'll delete this we'll go to data data validation from here i'll select list source i'll go to my setting sheet and we'll select the month okay so drop down for month got created over here we will create drop down for years data validation list source we will go to setting sheet and we'll select the years okay we will highlight this we will make it bold and we will increase the font size we will select an year from here i'll click on top we'll take all the things in center i'll create this attendance sheet for 20 employees so i'll insert serial number till 20 now i'll select this and we'll give it a border we'll select this and we'll create borders now we will highlight our present absent week offs holidays leaves and half days i'll select the whole sheet we'll go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to over here i'll type p for present we'll click on the drop down and we'll select green fill with green text okay we'll go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to a i'll click on the drop down custom format fill i'll click over here and we'll select red color we'll go to font and we'll select font color as yellow and we'll do okay okay conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to w o for week off we'll click on the drop down custom format fill and we'll select a desired color from here okay font color as white okay okay conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to h we'll click on the drop down custom format fill and we'll select a desired color we'll make font as white okay okay and in the same way i'll highlight pl sl and hd so conditional formatting for all the things got done whenever we will type p over here it will be highlighted a highlighted week off highlighted h highlighted pl sl hd so this is done i'll delete this now we will create drop down for our week offs i'll select this we'll go to data data validation list source we will take source from setting sheet we we'll select this okay so our drop down list got created i'll drag this down employee id and name i'll take from my example sheet we will come to right hand side we will do one thing we will click over here and we'll insert a row we'll merge this 
Now I'll insert a date over here. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go to format cells, custom. We'll remove this from here and we'll type DD. Okay. We'll take this in center. We'll come to the right hand side. So our date format got changed. I'll drag this till 31st. I'll come to left hand side. Over here, we will insert formula for day plus or equal to text bracket open. We will select the first date, comma, double inverted comma, D, 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 double inverted comma, close bracket close and we will hit enter. We will take this in center. Now we will drag this till end. We will select all these columns and we'll double click on the top and all the cells got adjusted. We'll take this closer. We will select from 1st till 31st and we'll give it a color. This will be for holidays. We'll select this and we'll give it a border. We will select from here till 31st and we'll give it a color. We will go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We will type P over here and we'll drag this till end and to extreme right hand side. We'll go to home and we'll take this in center. Now we will insert formula for our days. Formula for day one means first day of the month will be different and formula for rest of the days will be totally different. So formula for first day will be plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma one double inverted comma close and we will select the month and we will select the year. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So first date got inserted. Now we will insert formula for second date and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open start date means first date of the month. We'll press F4 or function F4 two times and dollar will be inserted between P and 6 is less than EO month bracket open. We will select the first date once again. We'll press function F4 and the cell will be locked. Comma zero, we'll close the bracket. Comma, we will select the first date once again. Means P6 plus one, comma, double inverted comma twice, We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we will drag this till end. Currently the date is showing till 31st. When we will change the month, February, it's showing till 28th only. We will do one thing. We will click on the second date. In the end, we had inserted double inverted comma twice. So we will type ME means month end. Or you can type EOM end of the month. Choice is totally yours. We'll hit enter. Now we will drag this till end. After 28th, you can see ME means month end. Let's come to the beginning. We will do one thing. We will take this over here in next cell. We'll delete this and we'll merge this both. Now we will insert our formula over here plus or equal to count if bracket open range this is our range from first date till last date we'll go to formula bar and we'll insert dollar just behind p we'll click over here in second range and we'll insert dollar in between comma we will come to the left hand side we'll click over here on p and we'll insert dollar in between b and 6 we'll delete dollar from here and we'll put just behind 80 and we'll hit enter. Now we will drag this down and we'll drag till here. So all the formulas got inserted. When I'll type A over here for absent, absents are getting counted. When I'll type PL, our PLs are getting counted over here. For week off and holidays, our formula will be totally different. So I'll delete this. I'll delete all these from here. Now we will click over here 
and will insert formula to highlight our week offs, month end, and holidays. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, new rule, classic, and from the drop down we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula will be plus or equal to. I'll take this over here. We'll click on the first week off. We'll remove dollar from center, and we'll leave the first dollar is equal to. We will click on the first day, and we'll remove the first dollar. We'll click on the drop down, custom format, fill. We'll click on this drop down, and we'll select a desired color. Okay. Okay, now we will drag this and we'll see how it looks. Our first week off is Saturday, so Saturdays got highlighted. We'll click over here once again. We'll go in conditional formatting, new rule, classic, and from the drop down we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula will be plus or equal to. We'll click on second week off. We'll remove dollar from center or mid. Is equal to, we will select the first day, and we'll remove the first dollar. We'll click on the drop down, custom format, fill, and we'll select a desired color. Okay, okay. Now we will drag this once again. So both of the week offs got highlighted. When the week off will be changed, means when the week offs will be rotational, it will be highlighted on those particular days. In case there will be any one week off, just select none from here and drag this till down, and just one week off will be highlighted. In case your week off is fixed for one day, just keep one day on top and drag this till down, and select copy cells, and just one day will be highlighted. Now we will highlight our month ends. I'll select this. We'll go in conditional formatting, new rule. Classic. From the drop down, I'll select use a formula to determine which cells to format, and the formula will be plus or equal to. I'll take this down. I'll click over here. We'll remove the first dollar. Is equal to double inverted comma M E. I have used M E for month end. In case you are going to use E O M means end of the month, you will have to type E O M over here. Double inverted comma close. I'll click on the drop down, custom format, fill, and I'll select a desired color. I'll select red color from here. Font. I'll make this red. So the term M E will not be visible. Okay, okay. So our month ends got highlighted. Before highlighting our holidays, we will have to insert our holidays over here. I'll make this bigger, and we'll take this little bit closer. The formula for holidays will be plus or equal to V lookup bracket open lookup value. So date will be our lookup value, comma table array. We will go in setting sheet, and we'll select holidays from top. The basic reason behind selecting from top, in case your holidays list will be updated, it will be updated in your attendance sheet also. We'll press function F4, and the list will be logged. Comma. Name of the holidays are in column number two, so we will insert two over here. Comma zero. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We can see an error over here. Because there's no holiday on first of February, so we will do one thing. We will insert formula or criteria of if error just behind VLOOKUP. If error bracket open, we will come to the end, comma double inverted comma twice bracket close, and we will hit enter. Now we will drag this till end. We will go on top, and we'll change the alignment. Rotate text down. In case you want to take rotate text up, you can. We'll wrap the text. We'll take this in center. We'll change the font color. We'll insert outside border. 
so our holidays list got inserted when the month will be changed january we are able to see holidays of january in case it will be march we are able to see holidays of march i'll do it january now we will select this and we'll highlight our holidays but before doing that we will go in setting sheet and you might remember we had renamed this list as holidays i'll click over here we'll go to formulas name manager i'll delete this okay and we'll define the name once again for better understanding define name i have selected both the things means dates as well as holiday list holidays okay we'll go to sheet 2 i have selected all the dates we'll go to home conditional formatting new rule classic use a formula to determine which cells to format and the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open we will type holidays over here comma we will select the first date we'll remove the first dollar from here we'll close the bracket we'll click on the drop down custom format fill and we'll select a desired color okay okay so our holidays got highlighted whenever the month will change the holidays will be highlighted automatically as well as the names will be updated let's be in january so our highlights are already done now we will restrict our week offs holidays and month ends we will select this we'll go to data data validation custom and we will click over here on formula we are going to insert four criterias over here two for weekends one for month end and one for holidays plus or equal to bracket open i'll take this in right side we will select first week off we'll insert dollar just before m7 not equal to for not equal to we have inserted greater than and smaller than first week day will insert dollar between p and 5 will close the bracket into bracket open we will select our second week off will insert dollar before n not equal to we will select the first week day will insert dollar between p and 5 will close the bracket into bracket open so first two criterias are for week offs Now we will click over here on our holiday list. We'll insert dollar between p and four is equal to double inverted comma twice. We'll close the bracket. This is for holidays. Into bracket open. We will click over here. We'll insert dollar between p and six. Not equal to double inverted comma m e. This is for month end. Double inverted comma close. we'll close the bracket and we'll do okay now we will see our cells got restricted or not p we are able to do the entry i'll insert something over here and we are not able to do the entry cancel i'll select this once again we'll go in data validation error alert title can't do entry error message it's week off or holidays or month end and we'll do okay let's insert something over here p it's week off or holidays or month end cancel so our data got restricted over here we will come to the left hand side now we will insert formula for week off and the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open we will select the range it will be from first day to last day of the month we'll press function f4 and we'll lock the cells comma we will select the first week off we'll close the bracket plus we will copy our formula from here control c or command c and we'll paste it over here our first week off is in m7 and second week off is in n7 so i'll change the value from here and we'll do it n7 and we'll hit enter 
so our week offs got counted right now there is just one week off saturday so it's counting four when it will be sunday it's counting nine week offs we will drag this till down now we will insert formula for holidays and the formula will be plus or equal to count a or count a bracket open we will select this range means name of the holidays we will press function f4 we will close the bracket minus count blank bracket open we will select this once again we will press function f4 and the cells will be locked we will close the bracket and we will hit enter we will drag this till down so there are total three holidays so it's counting three when the month will be changed february there are total two holidays so these formulas are done now let's open a new sheet now over here i'll type months jan and we'll drag this till december we'll select this we'll go in insert pivot table existing worksheet range we will click over here and we'll do okay on the right hand side we can see a window we will drag months in the filters we'll go in options and we'll select show report filter pages and we'll do okay we will close this you'll notice that name of all the months got inserted means various tabs for the months got inserted now we will click on the jan we'll press shift and we'll click on last month we'll select this and we'll press delete so pivot table got deleted from all the sheets now we will delete the sheet in which we inserted pivot table in the very beginning because this is really not required we will come over here in our attendance sheet we'll select this and we'll merge it we'll merge this also and we'll merge this we'll give it a border this will be summary we'll press control and we'll select all three we'll change the font color and we'll increase the font size this will be for select months and year this will be attendance sheet 2023 now we will copy this control c or command c we'll click on jan tab we'll press shift and we'll click on december tab we'll click over here and we'll paste it so our attendance sheet got pasted in all the tabs we'll go in view show and we'll remove the grid lines we will go in jan tab and we'll change the month january and in the same way we will change month from all the tabs so all the tabs got renamed we will insert one more tab move or copy move to end create a copy okay now we will delete this we will delete the formulas from here we'll insert few columns over here we will delete this we'll cut it control x or command x and we'll paste it over here we'll delete this we'll insert few more columns i have taken this from example file to save our time i'll take this in left this will be our consolidated or summary now we will insert the formula over here plus or equal to we will go in jan and we'll select present from here plus we will go in feb and we'll click on present plus march and we'll do same with all the months now we will hit enter and all the months got connected we will drag this to right until end so all the things got counted very properly we'll click on employee id we'll go in data data validation setting list source we will go in our setting sheet and we'll select employee id from here and we'll do okay 
So drop down list for employee got inserted. Name. We will insert formula of VLOOKUP over here plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. So lookup value is our employee number which is in C4. We will press function F4 and we lock this. Comma. Table array. We will select this. We will press function F4 and the cells will be logged. Comma. Name is in column number 2. So we will type 2 over here, comma 0. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. And name of the employee is over here. We will make the font little bit smaller. Total present. We will use VLOOKUP over here also. Better we will do one thing. We will copy this and we will paste the formulas over here. Right click the mouse, paste special, formulas. Now we will drag this down. We can see name over here in all the things. Because column number is not changed, we will change the column number. Column number of present is, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will do 5 over here. We'll delete 2 and we'll do 5. Enter. This is our 6. Enter. This is our 7. Enter. This is our 8. Enter. This is our 9, enter, this is 10, enter, and this is 11, enter. So all the formulas got inserted. Now we can check attendance employee wise. So the attendance sheet is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.